Hello everybody! Alright, I have to be honest here. I filmed this video in April <laughs> and we are now in July. It's been a while. This is, this is some serious editing procrastinating. And the first part of it, which is a New Orleans haul, is from a trip that happened in August of last year. So we're about a year late with this video. But then I'm journaling about quarantine, so then it's just maybe a month late? in regards to that. Anyway, going straight into the haul, and then we can talk about quarantine. <laughs> the first thing I bought in Paper Plume, I hope that's how you pronounce that, which is a beautiful, beautiful stationery slash fountain pen store in New Orleans. It was one of my favorite stops from the trip. So they have their own line of inks. They are, these specifically are meant for fountain pens, although I will be using it with a dip pen because I just felt like it today, but Probably in a future video, you'll see me using it with a fountain pen. I have used their inks that are meant for dip pens before. It's a different line. They're, they're quite thick. They're much thicker than the fountain pen inks. Those are great. You've seen me use that. I will try to find a video where I'm using it and put it in the cards right now. But this one is from their fountain pen collection and it is called Red Beans and Rice. They all have very New Orleans inspired names, which I love. It made it very fun. But of course I had to pick something that is deep red because it's my favorite color and I just tend to gravitate to it very often. And then the other two things I got, it's not a huge haul, were two dip pens, which I get to add to my collection. I have accidentally, I guess, started a bit of a dip pen holder collection I maybe will make a video in the future showing you which ones I have and how I use them. Not maybe. That will happen. It will happen at some point. So I'm starting off by removing the nibs that came with the dip pen holders. By the way, and this is something that I loved while shopping there, they let you pick which nibs you purchase or come with your purchase. All of their dip pen holders come with a nib. And I'm very glad that they let me pick because usually when you purchase dip pen holders, they always come with flex or pointed nibs. And I, as you know, because of the type of calligraphy that I do, I barely use them. They just end up in my little tin filled with nibs and they just never get used. So I'm very glad they let me pick which nibs I wanted to come with it. And of course I picked the manuscript ones that I always use. I'm always needing more of those because dip pen nibs are not forever. They don't, they're not like fountain pen nibs in case you were interested in knowing they do get rusty and they get old and you're supposed to switch them out and use a new one every so often. So I can always use more of these nibs that I love so much. As for the journaling, I of course had to journal about quarantine. I did write this, like I said, in April when quarantine was in full bloom and I was working from home and doing everything from home and nothing else was going on. So a lot of the sentiments that I wrote down in these couple pages are still very present, even though we're not in full quarantine mode at the moment. Just all feels almost temporary. It's, it's almost like we got used to the quarantine scenario and that became normal life. And now being outside is weird and, and has a lot of restrictions and rules that we need to follow for everybody's good. So I chose to write about the part of normal life that I miss the most, which is big gatherings of people in my apartment. That is something that I love doing. Uh, my roommate and I love hosting people and it just always makes us so happy. We have a lot of musician friends, so it's fun to have some like music at home, some freshly cooked foods, and just talking and dancing and singing with with friends in my apartment, which I feel like the personality of the apartment grows a little bit more every time there are people over. I hadn't realized how used I had become to building memories in my own apartment. It's something that we all took for granted, I'm sure. We all we have all taken something for granted that we realized during quarantine that we shouldn't, even if it's something as simple as walking outside with a bare face. But having tons of people over is definitely one of those things that I miss the most. And you'll see soon that I, I picked a very cliche <laughs> quote from a song from the movie Anastasia, which I love, and I've always loved that song. So there's, it's, it was actually a surprise that I haven't used it this far in. <laughs> 
in a, in a journaling page, but I thought it was perfect for this time around because one of the main events that I always look forward to in terms of having people over is my birthday. I always have a, a small party for my birthday in my apartment. It is something that I love. It is something that just makes everything feel very special and my birthday is in December. So of course, let's go the cliche route and use Once Upon a December as the quote. I've also been listening to that song a lot recently, so I thought it was very fitting to go along with what has been on my mind lately. By the way, sorry about all the background noise that you can probably hear. My windows are open because it is very, very warm in Chicago lately. Not that I'm complaining. I will never complain about the heat. It is great, but I need, I need the fresh hair. As for the decoration of this spread, I use these scrap pieces of books that I have. Don't worry, I did not rip or murder any books. No books were harmed in the making of this video. These all came like that as freebies or extras of other things that I ordered online. Sometimes, especially like Etsy stores or that kind of shop will include random ephemera. And sometimes that ephemera is is random pages from books that I hope were already destroyed. So I figured it's it's time to use them and there's this stencil that I know I've been using on my channel for a couple years now that I still love so I figured to bring it back and I really like the texture that it created in the book. This is something that I want to definitely do again. I will probably pre-make it next time and just have it already stamped with this design so that you don't need to see it over and over again. But I like the look. I like the look of taking a, a page from a book and, and giving it some other texture on top of it. As for the ink, it is definitely a bit too runny for dip pens. I mean, it is made for fountain pens, so this is not the fault of the ink. This is the fault of myself for trying to use it for something else. Their dip pen ink is phenomenal. It's fantastic really good highly recommend it beautiful colors this one though i'm really excited to put it in a in a fountain pen it wasn't feathering too much on this paper it's, it's rhodia paper by the way i did notice a little bit of feathering in the first a at the beginning of the quote and basically every time i would put fresh i would basically every time i dipped a pen and went straight to the paper so when there's the most ink in the nib it definitely feathers a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, it also is because of the paper. I love Rhodia paper. You guys know that. I have quite a few sizes of their notebooks. I use it for everything. It is solid. It is affordable. Of course, it's not like Tomoe River paper. That's a whole other level of papery goodness, but quite more expensive. So... Rhodia is a good happy medium. So this ink does work with dip pens as long as you have really good paper. It would definitely feather and bleed way too much in average copy printer paper or less quality uh, notebooks. The color though, the color is absolute perfection. I love it. This is my favorite shade of red. It is dark, it's rich, it's, it's blood color. It is Perfect. But that's all I have for you today. I genuinely do not plan on waiting months for the next video like I accidentally did from the last one to this one. Hopefully I will make something much sooner in one or two weeks. We will see. But I will see you soon with another video and have a fantastic day. Bye!